So I stayed last night here in this uh, little lean-to and slept really good. This is a great bivy. It's really warm. And I'm testing out this new bag, which is the REI Radiant. It's a mummy, long, 20-degree bag. It's good. This together works. Um, something about the air mattress does take up a lot of space in this and I'm big I'm six foot 200 something 210 pounds um, this takes up a lot of space so when you try to get in this can sometimes catch and get folded up which can be kind of annoying but I'm working on getting into this bag when the sleeping bags on it um, and using the, my Tyvek as a ground sheet so I was here last night and it was really interesting. There was a uh, an owl that flew in and was in here really quietly. And I had my trash in over here with these this wood to try to uh, keep it from getting squirrels. Like at least so I could it would make a lot of noise. And so the owl flew in. You can see there's a little foot piece of down. It caught on the edge of this, and I could see that there were some, a little bit of like, would look like bird, like it landed, it was sniffing around in there. It's just interesting, you know, to have a bird flying around <laughs> in here. I noticed somebody's kept this area open up in here. But um, not, I don't know what kind of bird it was. I, I'm assuming it was an owl. It was a very small bird. It was like a large songbird size. I saw it fly out over here. And last night also I had three deer that came right up. I went down to get water over here. So I had some deer. Then I had um, a marten. I think it was a marten. Um, I got up again, because I kept hearing stuff, and it, I, there was a full moon, so I could see, and I saw it run across the field here, and it was either a very large squirrel or a marten. I'm assuming it was a marten, because it had kind of a hop to it. I don't know if you've seen, like, a ferret running. <laughs> Look kind of like a ferret. A really great spot, and it, it's kind of rainy today. I I was gonna hike up to the PCT today. I think I probably still will. Um, but this is just such a neat spot. And I was thinking, you know, people who say that when you're hiking, you when you're through hiking, you don't stop and enjoy being in a spot for a little bit. Um, I've, I've walked up in through here in the, the trees. I was sitting under a tree over here yesterday before it rained. And a bird, it was, it might have been a scrub jay, flew in and landed in a branch right above me and just looked at me for a second. And I got up and moved because I didn't want to, I didn't know if, it was, if I was sitting right by its nest. It just flew like maybe two feet from my face. And just landed on a branch. <laughs> this is kind of interesting. Yeah, so there was the pine martin, and then I also came, I heard another, I don't know if it was a coyote or a fox, it was really quiet, but I heard an animal panting, breathing really heavily, like it had just run or scampered for a good distance. Um outside here. I haven't seen it. I've been looking for tracks, but I, it, it's kind of harder to see out here with the pine needles. I mean, I see some things that could be tracks. And there were other, also, there were people who came in today with a dog. Some people hiked through. Didn't really stop. I was still asleep, but I heard them hike through with a dog. So... Very neat, neat area in the Okanagan.